Hello, my friends. And welcome to my video where I discuss law of attraction concepts, concepts about money, and the whole concept of how some people know the price of everything, but know the value of nothing. So this is just an off the cuff video where I'm discussing these concepts. Probably one of the number one concepts I would say in regards to money and uh, being able to attract and create more things in your life is the concept of deservingness. Sometimes people feel that they don't deserve something and that's why they don't attract it or create it in their life. You, you basically put out the idea of what you want to create. Hey, I want a new car. I want a new house. I want a new, you know, I want a spouse. Whatever it is that you want to put out, you have to also feel like you deserve it too. How do you feel like you could do, you deserve it? Some people work harder than others and put in the time and the effort day by day in every way, step by step in order to actually feel that deservingness that they do deserve it, to deserve the abundance in their life, to deserve happiness to deserve joy. We're all wanting all of those things. But sometimes I feel that there might be a fear of actually putting out that idea of that new thing because sometimes people feel they don't deserve it. So my idea is this, is that be thankful for everything in your life and be thankful for every single gift that comes in. <sighs> everything is special. Like today, look at, look at the sky. Look at the sun. Uh, I actually don't wear sunglasses, so excuse me if I'm squinting a little bit here and there. But like, how do you quantify the price of something like this? This is really a priceless moment. Uh, you can't quantify also the price of a good conversation with a good friend of yours. You, you can't quantify. So. One of the biggest things, if you do search engine optimization and the keyword that people search for. People often use the word, the word, what is so and so worth? What is a Honda worth? What is a Toyota worth? What is gold worth? <sighs> it is worth as much as people are willing to pay for it. That's the free market. But the beauty of the free market is that it's abundance manifesting itself in the availability of products. So let's say something might have been put on the market for a certain price, let's say $100, some sort of piece of electronics. And it has the best quality of everything. It gets really popular, it gets sold out. And somebody might have bought an extra unit, but they don't want to sell it for less than the price they bought it for, or they might actually want to make, you know, a $50 profit. And now somebody else actually could enjoy the abundance of that you know, wonderful piece of electronics that, you know, people really enjoy. And then there's the other concept that certain things are worth nothing to somebody. So if somebody is not a stamp collector, an amazing stamp collection from the time of George Washington would not be worth anything to them. They'll be like, okay, I'll pay you a dollar for it. Maybe not even that. You could actually see that by some videos out there. There was a guy that had a gold coin. At the time, the gold was over $1,000. So he goes, buys one taco for $3 and says, hey, would you like me to pay you with this 
gold coin. He doesn't tell her that it's worth, you know, over a thousand dollars. Or would you like this $20 bill, the paper money? He took a really big risk there, but the clerk, the cashier, to her, the $20 was more worth it because she didn't know like gold, things like this. So, but to, to the other guy, you call, you go to a shop, it's, it's, today it's worth $1,500, $1,600. So, it really depends on to whom and what. But then the reflection goes to you in this, is that what, what do you do value in your life? What do you do want? The, I think one of the number one things that I love and appreciate and enjoy is freedom. One of the, another way of describing freedom is choice. The choice to live your life the way you want to live. The choice to travel, the choice to enjoy amazing foods. The choice of different opportunities. And uh, yeah, some people would value that over, even over, over you know, their lives. Take the founding fathers, George Washington, Alexander Hamilton, and then the famous guy, um, no, not Alexander Hamilton, but Je Jefferson probably more. Uh, what, what about Patrick Henry? You know, give me liberty or give me something else. Um, the guy wasn't going to stand up to corruption and being in a slavery just because out of fear of a force that is out there. And then there's also this concept is that when there are people that treat people well, that are providing amazing, valuable goods and services, that's another way where people get wealthy. So uh, to take, for example, Apple, their phones, their electronics, their computers, are oftentimes two or three times more than comparable items. But the question becomes, what do you do value? So for me, what I value out of Apple stuff is their amazing cameras. That's why I'm making this uh, recording also, is because on this phone, I have amazing 4K 60, quality video I also value that Apple has amazing support and that you're able to actually walk into their store and get help and if they're located everywhere in the world so and their phones keep getting security updates feature updates and things like this So when we look at the Steve Jobs or Tim Cook or the, or the major owners of these companies, sometimes people say, oh, these guys are unfair. Oh, look at these rich people. I feel specifically in regards to uh, people that gain their wealth through providing you know, valuable goods and services in a free market where they're not forcing the item on people and without necessarily the help of, uh, you know, people that would force the purchase of those products, that they're good people. And, and because they provide more value than most other people, they deserve that wealth. That's the concept. The concept is another way to feel deserving of abundance of joy is actually to be providing more abundance than everybody else to provide more high quality products to provide the best service out there to provide 
everything you need for everybody else. The other concept is that you can't help other people without helping yourself. That's, that's about it for now. That's my treatise and value of what is valuable to you. Ask yourself, what do I do value? What do I do want? And what do I do feel like I do deserve at this moment? And what do I do want to feel more deserving of in the future? And what specifically do I need to change in my life to feel more deserving of those objects of your desire? If you want, put a comment down below. Let's have a discussion. Let's put out the right frequencies. And lastly, I'll leave you with this. Sometimes it helps to know exactly what you don't want. Because when you know what you don't want, you can think about and clarify specifically to the point what you actually do want and focus on that. Get your focus on the, on the things. Go, go right back to the biblical principle of giving thanks in advance for the blessings you're receiving. To be giving thanks for the daily bread. To be giving thanks for the amazing day. For the warmth, the, the, the joy. So many things, things to be thankful for. So clarify what you want, not in terms of what you don't want, but in the positive term of what you do want. So an example is this. Somebody might say they're tired of being unhealthy, but in reality, what they do want is they want to be healthy. Or you could say, oh, they're tired of not having enough. But then the reality is that they want to have abundance. So that's, a, that's the next concept. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a great thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.